So now I'm back in Sublime Text and we have our document as we worked on it before in our previous exercise. We have our, our H1 tag, we have our opening paragraphs, we have our roses are red, violets are blue, and we're in our index.html document within our beginner HTML folder. So what I'm gonna do now is add another section where we'll start to format our text. And I'm gonna add a horizontal rule tag here. And this will help us just to begin to kinda section out and break up our, our sections, if you will. And if I go up here at save, just so you can see what this will look like, I hit save. And then we check this in our browser just so you can take a peek at it. You'll see this is our website, the way it looked um, before we made that, that change. And now we have a, that added horizontal rule to our website, which, which will allow us to kind of break up our, our text and our sections here. So after our horizontal rule, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add our next section. And I'm gonna do that with an H2 tag. And our H2 tag, I'll put in now, I am going to format text and that'll be our next heading for our next section and then we'll go ahead and put in a paragraph tag here and with our paragraph tag we'll go ahead and say text can be displayed in bold and when we do bold I'll go ahead and put in a bold tag and anything as you can see around that bold tag will be bold when we when we look at it so text can be displayed in bold or our title size and i'll go ahead and add the i tag here italicize and uh, just as a quick tip for you if you're in sublime text one of the things you can do is hit view and you can make sure spell check is selected for you with spell check being checked, it'll just help you while you're typing a little bit if you have that check. So, um, so text can be uh, or italicized or even highlighted. And we'll use the mark element to help us highlight mark. And so I'll say highlight it. And we'll make sure we close that. Alrighty, so put a little period here. So this will allow us to kind of mark up text and kind of see what things are looking like. And so what I'll do is here, I'll go up here and we'll save it. Go to File, Save. And now we'll go ahead and look at our browser once again. And let's see now what our website looks like as we update um, and refresh it. So you can now, you can see that this information has been added. Now text can be displayed in bold or italicized or even highlighted. That information is now formatted on, on our in our text on our website. So what we'll do now is we'll get some practice with some more elements, some different elements, in addition to the ones we've just practiced. We'll see if we can do some more and put some more up on the screen. So, so I took the liberty of adding some more content on our website here so that we can look at and get practice with additional elements. So this part right here I added, what it gives us a chance to do is to look at even additional elements such as how to make a word look like it's subscript. You can do that with the sub element. Here's another word that's in bold. Here's another word that's italicized. Here's another word that's marked or highlighted. So just taking a look at several of the other elements that you can use to mark up and format text is important. So let's see what this looks like as we've added this additional content into our website. And if you practice with this yourself, write this up as, as part of our guideline and our reference guide. Practice this and, and write this into your website as we're building our website together. It'll get you more practice with how to format text and what that looks like. So let's go up here and hit files and save. And let's take a look at what this looks like on our, our website. So now here's what our website looks like right now. And if we go ahead and add in that additional content and refresh it, you can see we have additional things. So a word that looks like it's subscript, uh, you can make a word, like, so you another word that's bold, another word that's italicized, highlighted. Here's what the deleted element looks like when you add that around the word or even insert it. So we'll get a chance to practice some more. And like I said, if you can go in on your own and just practice in, with some of these other elements to really make your formatting text section really stand out, it'll give you more practice with these, um, with these elements.